Hey, how you doing? Uh, so just wanted to sort of touch base. Uh, I've been doing quite a lot of videos recently, as you probably noticed. Um, truth is, I think I'm just trying to sort of work through quite a few things in my own head. And sometimes it's, you know, it's easy, it's easier for me to actually say things out loud. It makes, helps me understand rather than just keeping it all wrapped up in my own head. Um, so yeah, so firstly, an apology. I'm sorry that I've been spamming and spamming and spamming, but you know, it's, it's, uh, you never know, some of it might help somebody one day, which would be, you know, quite unlikely really, but it might help, which would be, which would be good. Um, I think there's a few things that, you know, life is sort of settling down now things are getting back to normal um which is definitely good it's definitely good um i think like a lot of the the sort of the exciting stuff if you like so like getting my my deed poll my driving license my passport things like that were really quite exciting to be honest because i would waited so long to do it um and, you know, there was definitely a moment where it all sort of hit me that, oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is like actually a reality at long last. And now I feel a little bit like I'm just sort of, okay, cool. Well, the, a lot of the hard stuff's over and the exciting stuff is pretty much over for the time being as well. And so now I feel like I'm just at this point where I'm sort of back in this limbo and waiting and waiting and waiting um, for, you know, appointments for i still i still haven't seen the gic you know it's going to be two years since i sat down with my gp and said listen i need to see somebody about this and had to help them give them what forms tell them what to do i've taken private routes in the meantime um which okay fine that's that's all behind me and gic have you know finally sorted out what they're doing with my gp so we're sort of on shared care in the interim um but I'm still sort of waiting. And at the moment, I suppose it really sucks because I, I guess I'm sort of waiting for like this, I don't know, like external validation. And it's great because everybody that, you know, everybody on, on my YouTube, you're all wonderful. And everybody on Twitter and all my Facebook friends, you know, you're all so amazing people, just such beautiful and amazing people. And always being really, really positive and telling me, oh my gosh, aren't you wonderful, bloody blah, blah, blah. Which, don't get me wrong, I love hearing it. But it's, you know, it's not about that. This isn't about craving sort of, you know, compliment. I think I'm just at that point where I need to finally just sort of have a real line drawn in the sand, you know? Um, and so I'm back to being... A bit frustrated, I think, which is probably why I'm venting so much of this, probably why I'm letting so much of it out. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's been, looking back, I, I put a picture up earlier, I'll see if I can find it, hang on, I'll see if I can find it, of my, my face, sort of pre-laser, uh, well, after my first treatment, uh, blisters, I'll see if I can put the picture up. Um, and today, I woke up today and uh, yeah, I didn't shave yesterday, I didn't shave again this morning and I'll put a picture up on my face this morning next to the one from the laser um, and you know, that that's like, that is such a huge step to wake up and be like, oh my god, I, I don't have this enormous beard shadow anymore, which was really cool. Um, and but it sort of made a mark for me because it's kind of like two years really i looked at the date of the photo and it's kind of two years since i started laser um and it's occurred to me that you know so much has changed and if i thought back to two years ago the be all and end all was wasn't laser and it wasn't you know just sort of getting back to a normal life the the, the thing i needed and the thing i wanted was to get to see you know a consultant to get somebody to say you know what that is? That's gender dysphoria. As it happens, I'm fairly confident in my diagnosis as it happens because I'm a million times better, more happy. I'm just so much more comfortable with who I am now than I've ever been in my life, uh, which is a huge relief. And it's got me thinking like, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that there's there's other sort of medical steps that I want to take with my life, do I really need that? appointment with the GIC I mean well the answer is obviously yes I do because they have things that I want to do but it's 
I just feel like I'm just waiting to jump through bureaucratic hoops just to be able to, you know, carry on living my life at the minute. And that's a bit frustrating. I find it really, I'm just finding it frustrating. Um, so yeah, this was a bit of a, bit of a pointless whinge on video, to be honest. Just felt I'd have a bit of a whinge. No particular reason. Actually had quite a nice day. Really lovely people. Um, some customers are like that. They're just, you know, really lovely people. Uh, so yeah, that was cool. Um, also, they've got this amazing recording studio, like proper film quality recording studio. So I might try and tap them up and see if I can uh, try and get some videos done in there. I'm sure they'd be happy to let me. Uh, maybe if I gave them a tag at some point. Not yet, though. I don't want to push my luck. Um, but yeah, you know, everything's cool. Oh, I got a bit stressed today about uh, Valentine's Day. Because, um, I don't know, I always get sort of stressed around Valentine's Day because... I've been, I'm so lucky, and I've been with my wife forever. I mean, you know, it's a long story, but we've been together since we were practically, you know, kids. Um, and so what do you get somebody this far down the line? Say so like, uh, yeah, thanks for sticking with me after everything for so long. How do you sum that up in a card? Uh, I don't think Hallmark have quite nailed that one yet. Um, but, you know, uh, so yeah, so Valentine's Day is Thursday. Um, what else is what else is new? Not really. There's not really a lot that's new. And people keep asking me, you know, you've seen people and they're like, oh, so how are you? What's new with you? And I'm like, well, you know, not much really. Same old, same old. Um, which is, it's, it's this weird feeling for the first time in my life. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with me. I just, well, you know, stressed and obviously a little bit a little bit short on cognitive faculty but nevertheless you know there's nothing actually wrong with me anymore I'm just like properly myself and getting on and living my life which is it's cool yeah um yeah so I don't really know what this was about to be honest just uh fancy touching base with you guys uh anyway I hope you've all had having a really nice day um and I'm sure I'll speak to you all again soon Okay, take care. Bye.